Okay, this is the middle section that we just took off. It contains the front variable speed pulley. This is the pulley that moves up and down. That chain pulls down and it varies the pulley ratio between this and the motor pulley back here. This assembly contains three bearings. We're going to replace all three of them. Uh, the first is the top one, which is this one here. That sits in that plate on the top. There's a bearing underneath this collar that actually moves the pulley up and down. And then there's one underneath that supports the pulley. It's perfectly normal for this assembly to have a little bit of play in it when it's just sitting here. Uh, that's not a cause for concern. We are going to check it and make sure to put this pulley somewhere in the middle and rock it back and forth carefully. Make sure there's no play in here in these bushings that it rides on. Um, those bushings are replaceable and uh, if there is any play then we're going to replace those. This one feels good. First thing we're going to do is take off the top snap ring here. Don't you love snap rings? Okay, and slide this pulley off. see in there is the plastic bushings and the key that it rides on. Um, before we disassemble any more, there's one more snap ring in here that we're going to eventually have to take off. So I'm going to get it right now. And that actually sets on top of this pulley. Sometimes it's a little pain to get out of. They get stuck in there. That's the second snap ring. Now this entire assembly is held to the frame by two screws. So we're going to take those out. Hopefully. Knees in a bridge port or port or 20 screws. Now, you can take the rest of the pulley assembly right off of it. You can see on the pulley assembly, this is the brake drum here, and here is the brake screws. You look at it, it's pretty simple. It's a little cam that just expands the brake screws. It's completely overdone, they rarely get worn out. Uh, we'll take the brake shoes off right now. Simply pull them against the springs. Don't lose those springs. And then that can go into the magic cleaning box. Uh, this is the third bearing that's under here. It actually supports the entire thing. We're going to take this guy apart. And in order to do that, we've got to go over to the press. So. Okay, we're over here at the press. We're going to press this shaft out of this entire assembly. Now, it is a press fit in both this pulley and the bearing down here. And the easiest way to start tearing this apart is to just press the entire thing out. And we use this press for all kinds of stuff, so it's rather than adjusting it, we just stack stuff up on it. Hopefully, it will come right out. And we'll be crashing out. You can see here, there's a key. Don't lose that key. That key is what aligns it with the, with the pulley. This shaft we're about done with. We'll clean it up. The next thing we want to do is get this bearing 
and its retainer plate out. Okay, back over here, and I lied a little bit. This bearing is actually pressed on to the center part of the pulley. Uh, the first thing we're going to take off is this spacer ring. That's an important little piece. Uh, the easiest way to get these off, some people try and pry them off, is to get two long quarter 20 bolts and screw them in these mounting holes. The mounting holes actually go all the way through. And we're going to use these two bolts to jack this off. This is a pretty tight press fit, so it's sort of a little bit of a... I screwed that all the way down. Sort of a little bit of an adventure. But it's a lot less violent than any other. And eventually it will come off. Since it's a tight fit, you're not going to be able to see very much before we go to the other side. We're just going to sit here and gradually. Because now we're having fun. We are making progress. Get this bearing and the collar off. There's, this is one of Bridgeport's better ideas. There's no simple way to do it. Again, we're going to replace the bearing, so we really don't care if we hurt it. Um, you can try just prying it off. I've found the best way, for me, is to clamp the thing to your table with a T-nut and a bolt and a, a washer that's slightly smaller than the, than the hole in this collar. And, uh, just proceed to go crazy. Get out your pry bars. I found this pry bar is actually the right size for this. With your main tool. Lucky. 
got the whole thing out of here. You can see my bolt, the T-nut down there. Yes, we got the whole bearing off. Now we're going to get it out of the collar. Sometimes the collar comes off first and you got to work on the bearing. Sometimes the whole thing comes off. Uh, whatever works. Again, not an easy way. Uh, fortunately, this is not normally a real hard press in there. Um, the tool I use, I got it at a garage sale, is just a big old offset screwdriver. And if we can manage to get it between the two parts, get the hammer out. And this method actually works for a lot of situations like this. And I'm going sideways like that. If you've got a better method to do this, drop me a comment or a note. See, it is coming out. Told you. The bearing is history. Of course, we want to save that. That's it for the disassembly of the middle section. Uh, we're saving the most fun part for last. Uh, see you next time.